Christopher George Latour Wallace, known professionally as a notorious B.I.G., Biggie Smalls, or Biggie, was an American rapper. He is widely considered to be one of the greatest rappers of all time. The notorious B.I.G. was noted for his loose, easy flow, dark, semi-autobiographical lyrics, and storytelling abilities, which focused on crime and hardship. The notorious B.I.G. was born and raised in the Brooklyn borough of New York City. His debut album Ready to Die made him a central figure in East Coast hip-hop and increased New York City's visibility in the genre at a time when West Coast hip-hop dominated the mainstream. The following year, he led Junior MAFIA, a protege group composed of his childhood friends, to chart success. In 1996, while recording his second album, the Notorious B.I.G. was heavily involved in the growing East Coast-West Coast hip-hop feud. Following Tupac Shakur's death by a drive-by shooting in Las Vegas, Nevada, on September 7, 1996, rumors of his involvement with Shakur's murder spread. On March 9, 1997, the notorious B.I.G. was murdered by an unknown assailant in a drive-by shooting in Los Angeles. His second album, Life After Death, released two weeks later, rose to number one on the U.S. album charts. In 2000, it became one of the few hip-hop albums to be certified diamond. Three more albums have been released since the notorious B.I.G.'s death, and he has certified sales of over 28 million records in the United States, including 21 million albums. Rolling Stone has referred to him as the greatest rapper that ever lived, and Billboard named him as the greatest rapper of all time. Wallace was born at St. Mary's Hospital in the Brooklyn borough of New York City on May 21, 1972, the only child of Jamaican immigrant parents. His mother, Valletta Wallace, was a preschool teacher, while his father, Selwyn George Latour, was a welder and politician. His father left the family when Wallace was two years old, and his mother worked two jobs while raising him. Wallace grew up at 226 St. James Place in Brooklyn's Clinton Hill, near the border with Bedford Stuyvesant. Wallace excelled at Queen of All Saints Middle School winning several awards as an English student. He was nicknamed Big because he was overweight by the age of 10. Wallace said he started dealing drugs when he was around the age of 12. His mother, often away at work, did not know of his drug dealing until he was an adult. He began rapping as a teenager, entertaining people on the streets, and performed with local groups The Old Gold Brothers and The Techniques. At his request, Wallace transferred from Bishop Laughlin Memorial High School to George Westinghouse Career and Technical Education High School, where future rappers DMX, Jay-Z, and Busta Rhymes were also attending. According to his mother, Wallace was still a good student but developed a smart-ass attitude at the new school. At age 17, Wallace dropped out of school and became more involved in crime. In 1989, he was arrested on weapons charges in Brooklyn and sentenced to five years probation. In 1990, he was arrested on a violation of his probation. A year later, Wallace was arrested in North Carolina for dealing crack cocaine. He spent nine months in jail before making bail. After being released from jail, Wallace made a demo tape called Microphone Murderer, under the name Biggie Smalls, a reference to a character in the 1975 film Let's Do It Again as well as his stature. He stood at 6 feet 3 inches and weighed 300 to 380 pounds according to differing accounts. The tape was reportedly made with no serious intent of getting a recording deal. However, it was promoted by New York-based DJ Mr. C, who had previously worked with Big Daddy Kane, and in 1992 it was heard by the editor of The Source. In March 1992, Wallace was featured in The Source's unsigned hype column, dedicated to aspiring rappers, and made a recording off the back of this success. The demo tape was heard by Uptown Records A&R and record producer Sean Puffy Combs, who arranged for a meeting with Wallace. He was signed to Uptown immediately and made an appearance on label mates Heavy D and the Boys's A Bunch of Niggas. In mid-1993, a year after Wallace signed his recording contract, Combs was fired from Uptown and a week later, Combs started a new label, Bad Boy Records. Wallace followed and signed to the label on the same day that Bad Boy Records was founded. On August 8, 1993, 